I came back as a public defender. I came back to Delaware and I got a fancy job with the oldest law firm in the state. But the city was burning. It was burning down here. And I, I couldn't do it. So I quit and became a public defender. And the first trial I had, I walked into court as a public defender with another guy named Eddie Sobosinski, a defender. I'd only been admitted to the bar one week. And Earl Larkin was in chains around his ankles and on his, on his, on his wrist. And they were chained together, so on a belt. And he said, who's going to try the Larkin case? I just, just got started. And he was aptly named. His name was Judge Stiftel. And uh, he said, Sobosinski said, well, that's my colleague. He just joined the public defender's office. He said, You'll, will you, in fact, defend him? Uh, so she t he turned to Larkin and said, he'll defend you. I said, whoa, 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 Your Honor. I know nothing about the case. He said, I'll give you it till tomorrow, but you draw the jury today. And he looked at Larkin and he said, do you mind if he even represents you? And I'll never forget what he said. I learned a lot. He said, and I mean, I mean it sincerely. He looked at me and he said, one hunky is just as bad as any other. I'll take whoever you send me. And here's what I want to tell you about Earl. Here's what I want to tell you about the neighborhood and the heart. I defended him. He got beat up right on, on the other side of the field here. He walked along the tracks. He was a sailor in a sailor's uniform, the guy who he beat up and robbed. And so I thought he was innocent. I kept the jury out five hours, but they convicted him. And I felt so bad. So I go down to the old prison all the time. They had little wooden tables and little two little chairs in a big dome you'd sit under where you'd be interviewed. And I was sitting there, Councilwoman, and I, the third time, said, I'm appealing this case. And finally, he took the table, and he flipped it up, and he said, jumped up, and the guards came and grabbed him. He said, don't you understand, Joe? I did it. I did it. But here's the point. He cared about me. This is a man who saw me bleeding because I saw this guy going to jail, and I thought he was innocent. There's character, even in great problems. There's so much character in this neighborhood. There was so much character back then, too. So many people didn't get a shot. So many people didn't get a shot. Who could be standing right where Lisa's standing today, a lot earlier. Could be standing where I'm standing today.